everybody, it's Mr. Red back again with another Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved episode on the Dayless H2 Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved server. Woo! We we finally got through that. <laughs> that was like three or four takes. <laughs> Excuse the cough there. All right, let's just keep going. No more. If I mess up, you know how I say it. We leave the bloopers in. Okay, here we go. So last episode we got a uh, we fixed our RF problem that we were having with the the ME kept shutting on and off. So what we did was we got made some uh, 25 mil capacitor banks, uh, a couple of lava generators, and we got some pipes, and we got some servos, some extra ender cables over here, ender energy conduits, and we made some bedrockium drums, and we filled a little bit of lava. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna grab this. Uh, lava in a uh, bedrockium drum that has a little bit of lava in it and we're gonna go replace it with the one out in our lava world and uh, as you guys remember we did that last episode like I said oh you just, just uh, click the link oh 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 in that first 25 seconds of the uh, episode I always put the link back to the first episode just hit rewind a little bit uh, there's a annotation and a card so our lava bed rockium drum out here has already got 42 mil. Look at this. Look how much this simple pump has already picked up. Woo wee. I, it, it's gone by really fast and our lava generators out here just uh, supplying it with power. It's being, it's just a cycle feeding itself. Uh, we still got the water bed rockium drum out here just in case we hit some lava sources and our uh, bedrockium drums right here so you know what let's just grab this one get really close to it okay which one is this one this one is the uh, the smaller one so we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna put it right there there we go now that's filling up this has got 42 million almost 43 so that's good all right so let's just uh go up a little bit and you can see the pattern it's already making it's stretched way out there and now, where is it? Uh, I don't see. Where is it picking up from? Uh, it's probably picking up from... Oh, right there it is. There's one of them. And there's the other one. All right. So it's picking up two, from two little siphons. And uh, the siphon itself for the lava is actually right over here! Oh, God! Dang it! I'm in the lava! I'm hurting! I'm hurting! I don't have no water and I don't have the milk! Uh. Uh, maybe if I go to a different dimension, I won't, won't burn. Uh, blooper, leave it in. Oh, oh my God. Am I still? Ooh. Ah, I'm still burning. I'm still burning. Get outside. Get out. Oh, I'm okay. I eat chicken. I eat chicken. There. Okay, so that was a little bit of rage right there. Of <laughs> a panic. We're going to leave it in the, in the, the blooper. <laughs> All right, let's get this bedrock him drum. Nothing happened. Nothing to see. Move along. Move along. There we go. <laughs> How much do we hurt our gear? Not one. Well, a little bit, but not, not too bad. All right. <laughs> that was so bad. All right, just keep going. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, eventually we're going to move that, um, turn that pump into an endothermic pump. And uh, we'll have some tesseracts, you know. We'll, I'll show you all that, how to do that in the future. Don't worry, we're going to get to it. But, you know, I like to do progressional because, uh, uh, you know, if you skip steps, you, you know, you might put yourself in a world of hurt trying to fix things. So, let's go back upstairs and uh, we've got a pretty big project to work on today but I wanted to show you guys something you might have seen it as I walked by uh, I was thinking off camera of uh, you're gonna well first you're gonna ask why is there cobble and why is there wood but don't worry I'm very tell you so I was thinking about putting a little room for our for this episode putting it back here and of course uh, there's a carpenter's door here uh, which I've just skinned with oak wood planks to kind of blend it in and they're kind of cool i mean yeah uh back here uh as you can see is the old uh quarries back here and uh i thought it was pretty nice we'll do something with them and uh i moved the uh the magman torch uh back one block 
I mean, we don't really need it there anymore because we got the one upstairs and we got the one way down there to help with the uh, uh, with with mod control. But I think this room is going to serve the purposes that I want because we're going to have some equipment and it's we're just going to be able to come in here and down this hallway. We'll probably have a hallway down here. So that's why the cobbles here as a temporary reminder of how big I want this hallway, which is about three wide. So we're going to have this little area. That I'm probably going to put an access door right here. Uh, so we can go back and do um, some work back here with maybe, uh, you know, the wiring and everything. I want to keep it kind of hidden. So I just want to be like a little service area. You know, you just do whatever you're going to do on the side over here. Um, but it's going to be for some future builds, which you see crafting stations for. That's for the future. Uh, so don't worry. Don't worry. I know you guys are always asking. But today, uh, we are going to be uh, needing some, uh, something really major. So we worked on getting RF to help support the ME drive. Now, we're also going to need some extremely strong uh, EU power for future builds that are right here. And to get that, uh, we're going to eventually need to upgrade our solar panels. But to do that, we are going to need a molecular transformer, okay? But because we don't, our solar powers are kind of weak, we're going to have to upgrade to kinetic wind generators. And that's going to be easy to do. Well, it's the materials, as long as you've got quarries going, you can get the materials. And for part of me, I'm about ready to cough again. <clears throat> This is a perfect time, ladies and gentlemen, for you to grab your coffee and th click that thumbs up while I and subscribe if you're brand new while I'm getting a sip of coffee. Okay, here we go. Mmm. 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 Ah, that's some good stuff. Thank you for that like and the subscribe. Welcome to Mr. Red Family. All right, so uh, the molecular transformers, they do take a long time to produce... The material that it, that we will need to make uh, the upgraded uh, materials but it's okay so let's start with uh, creating the platforms okay well no 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 we can actually go ahead and make them mr. bed we got this all right kinetic wind generator uh, kinetic generators kinetic gearbox rotor carbon all right now if if you've got time to prep, folks, I highly suggest making all the parts that you can pr prior to uh, your construction. That way, you could just go into your ME. Let's see, what do we need? Kinetic generator. Let's do that one first. Kinetic generator. Let's type that in. K-I-N-E-T. There it is. Kinetic generator. Right there. All right. So iron item casing, you guys remember how to make those, but uh, if you not, if not, you take some iron and you use a hammer or a uh, Thor's hammer type of thing is what I like to call it, or you could throw it into a metal press. Um, I like to use a Thor's hammer, which is just iron, like one, two, three, four, five, and then two pieces, of, uh, two sticks right there. This is an engineer's hammer. But it's all good. You just take some iron, make that, or you throw it into your rolling machine on rolling. Nor is a hammer. It, yeah, it's no, not rolling. Yeah, it's yeah, that's a first setting hammer. It has a hammer on it. Yeah, but oh my gosh, I am derping, and I apologize. <laughs> then you just roll it through again, and on on there. See, you could roll there. It's called. Well, that's rolling. Yeah, yeah. There's the hammer, the forge hammer. That's what it is, the forge hammer, and uh, you'll to make the iron plates and then just use it again to get the iron item, iron item casings. Now you guys, you know how to make generators, but if you don't, remember it's an RE battery, some iron plates, and an iron furnace. Iron furnace, of course, is a regular furnace with a five of iron plates. Uh, if you don't remember how to make the RE batteries, it's a 10 item casing, which was the same way as making the iron item casing, just with 10. An insulated tin cable and two pieces of redstone. The insulated tin cable is a piece of tin and a piece of rubber. 
There we go, and you get the piece of tin cable by taking tin plates, which you make with the forge hammer from tin ingots uh, to make tin plate, and use your cutter to make tin cable, or use an extruding mode on a metal former with just your tin ingots. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, a shaft. Hell, how you doing? Uh, made of iron, you use an iron block. A block of iron and extruding mode makes an iron shaft. Uh, electric motor, these, oh my God. So we need two tin plates, tin item casings, excuse me, an iron ingot, and a coil. A coil is an iron ingot surrounded by just plain copper cable of a, right there, which you can get from a copper plate and a cutter, or just run an iron ingot through extruding mode, and you'll get three. Okay, and then you wrap it, yeah, and you wrap it around. So you need two of those. All right, now we should have all of these materials. Yes, we do. So uh, how many we want? One, two, three. Ooh, okay, we're going to make three. We can make three. How many generators do we have? Do we have enough to make generators? Oh, so we're going to have to make some RA batteries. So let's do that. Oh, we're out of 10. Uh, 10. Okay, 10. Let's do this. Okay, we can do this. We got this. All right, uh, 10 ingots. Oh, there. We'll just grab some of these. Oh, there's some 10 plates. We'll just use those. There we go. And we'll throw that back in there. Let's go upstairs and just do this as we go. This would be great. I thought I had all the materials, but you know what? It's fine. There we go. Rolling, right? Yes, rolling. Ooh, that's really slow. So let's grab some speed ups. There we go. We'll grab them out of here. We'll throw them in here. And you're going to see it's going to drain out of all of our power. But that's fine. It's just draining the power out of the metal former. Uh, and then it'll be feeding straight from the MFSU that's above us. There we go. Come on. And that gives us plenty, I think. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the end of the one, two, three, four. That's three more. Okay. Yeah, three batteries. Yeah, that's cool. We'll just leave that one going. There we go. Let's get down here. We're going to make these. We're going to feel so awesome. <laughs> Thumbs up for singing. <laughs> All right. Uh, redstone. Let's see. Got some of this. Going to make some batteries. All right. Let's, uh, one, two... Yeah, uh, two is good. Okay, let's throw... Okay, generator there. And we'll throw that one in there too. So, four... Oops, I ran out of... What? Oh, yeah, that's fine. What was it that I needed? A generator takes an iron furnace. Iron furnace. Oh, I don't have any regular furnaces. Hold on. Okay, a uh, cobble... Let's grab a stack of cobble. Let's put it right here. Let's go like this. And we'll just make a bunch of those. There we go. All right. Now we'll hit that button to throw everything back. Throw that in there. And we'll go in here. We'll get the generator. Get this. Go like that. Oh, furnace. Come on. I just had that furnace. Furnace. Oh, wait. We had 164. Why'd you do that? two okay let's just grab a bunch of those grab those wait generator iron furnace okay let's throw these back in there okay finish that off here we go we get this generator care voila now we got two generators all right we'll throw that back in there okay and through this here we go three there we go all right so we got five kinetic generators there we go. Now I feel better. All right. Let's, uh, kinetic gen wind generator. Okay. Basic machine casing. Okay. Iron plates. We got that. Okay. What's, oh, kinetic wind generator. Basic iron shaft. That's, uh, a block of iron thrown on extruding mode, which we just made. No, we didn't do that on there. Um, uh, we made 10 plates. Extruding mode will give you one iron shaft and select the right one okay so we made five kinetic generators let's make five 
of five of the kinetic wind generators. Cool. All right, we're going to be making kinetic gearbox rotor carbon. Oh, okay, carbon, carbon rotor blades and refined iron shafts. Okay, thank goodness we made the steel. We made blocks of steel. And I think I ran through some on the extruding, so we should have some. All right, so how do we make this? Ooh, okay. Uh, we need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, wait. Wait a minute. Four of them, four times five, going to need 20. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm definitely going to run out. Okay, that's 17. <laughs> so I need to make some more carbon plates. Okay, uh, coal. Please tell me I have coal dust in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's just grab all of that out. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, my gosh. We're going to need 20 of these carbon rotors. Okay, this might... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is where you see Mr. Red Panic because in the future to replace all of these, this could be expensive. But thank goodness we have a bunch of coal that we can uh, process down. Uh, into dust and make even more so what's our compressor doing is this our compressor yes let's uh grab the three out of here and let's put them up here in the compressor okay now let's make the next product which i think is that yep that's right so let's do that all right we got that uh should we use just half just in case because i don't remember how this is going to go, I don't know. Okay, three. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab one of you and put you over here, too. Go faster. Go faster. Woo! Okay, so it takes how many again? It takes six total to make one. Okay, and we've got two in the machine still. So, still six. We just need to make three, so think of it like that. So, 18. All right, we need 18 minimum to make the three, right? Three, six, uh, six, 12, 18. Yep, okay, well, minus four. So we can pull it out at 12, right? Okay, right, right, three, six, uh, six, 12, plus four, 16. We can pull these out in three more. Okay, all right. Yes, I am actually doing all this on the fly. Yay! <laughs> there we go. So 16. That should give us just enough to cover all the rotor blades. Okay, let's go back down here. Uh, get back into our crafting terminal, which we should have had the blades right here put in here. Oh, because I got these. All right. Oh, no, did I just throw all of those back in there? I didn't mean to throw those. That's okay. So we had, what was it, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's right. Okay, blade. Okay, so that's 20 right there. All right. Now that we got 20, which should be the magic number, we're going to take this. We're going to hit this. All right. We should be able to pull five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. All right. Great. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. The next thing we're going to need out of here, oh my gosh, is glass fiber cables glass fiber there they are glass fiber cables have a 8192 on eu per tick that's how much they can handle but these things hardly ever blow up i say that now because knowing my luck they're gonna blow up all right it's regular glass silver dust which you run or pulverized silver that whatever one you run through a pulverizer uh, energerium dust. You guys remember how to make this stuff? 
Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's diamond, so it takes eight diamond uh, to, well, well, it takes four diamond to make nine Energerian dust, but it takes a lot of diamonds. You just gotta, just gotta take it and do it. All right, so glass, silver, and Energerium dust will give you, uh, which I don't have, I must have run out of materials, but I have been grinding these, so I should have a ton which we're gonna need so let's grab a uh let's just grab too many I'll grab too many okay all right so we'll put this there and this there so that's one two three four five 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 so that's good now what we need uh, oh my gosh i keep going out of here we are going to need to store this energy that it's going to produce so let's make MFSU. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have made this before, guys. And uh, let's just run through it again. So a Lapatron crystal. Uh, we need to pulverize some lapis uh, lapis and get that down. Uh, you're going to need six of that. You remember, the Energon crystals are just compressing nine Energerium dust, which we just covered was redstone and diamond dust. All right, you're going to make an advanced uh, circuit, which you remember how to make a circuit right there. Insulated co uh, copper cable, redstone, iron plate. All right. Uh, and then that makes the electronic circuit. An advanced one is lapis on either side, glowstone on north-south, and redstone in the four corners to get your advanced circuit. Uh, you will need an advanced machine casing, which is a basic machine casing iron plate surrounded by uh refined iron plates or steel plates whichever one uh a carbon plate on top and bottom and your advanced alloys on either side which if you've never made this is a mixed metal ingot thrown into a compressor to compressor to make advanced alloy if you never make a mixed metal ingot and you missed the last time when we did this it is iron plates bronze plates and 10 plates okay and you just stack those on there and you get two for each at, uh all nine of these combined three 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 give you two all right uh if i were you i would suggest making a couple of stacks of these that you can turn into uh advanced alloys okay you have a couple stacks available for yourself all right so now we're going to be making an mfe which is insulated gold cable. So make your uh, like you're doing your copper cable or any other cable. Make the uh, gold cable, but it takes two rubber to make an insulated gold cable. All right. So make your gold cables. Uh, your energon crystals. Remember that's nine uh, energerium dust, and they only make one at a time, so you had to pull it out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and of course your basic machine casing again, iron plates. There you go, in a furnace setting. Okay, we should have the materials to make this. Yes, we do. And no, we do not need five of those. We only need one. All right, so let's see. Output uh, is pretty good. That's good. We can control that. That's, that's going to be great. All right, so I want to put this in this back room. And I think it would really be nice to put it right about here in the back. All right. Let's see. Okay. Now. Oh, foo. You know what I didn't do? I, I, I should have done this. I should have done this. Come on in here. We need our quartz wrench. Just in case. Oh. GG. Congrats. Uh, Enderman got nothing. What is that? Uh, achievement. Create a dislocator. Okay. There we go. All right, let's go over here. We need to move this over just a little. Mm, let's get in here. Oh, come on. Am I using wrong wrench? I don't think that did it. I moved it to it so it's right over here. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, wait, let me get the, what is it? Industrial? Industrial craft, okay. Let me get a wrench for that. That'll probably be the better move instead of just using 
Okay, so let's go wrench. Okay, industrial craft wrench. Let's type over here wrench. Get this right. Okay. All right, how do we make this? Do I have the materials? I do. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's put this over here. All right. Goodness. Let's right click. Really? There we go. Thank you. All right. Let's put you right there. There we go. Okay. I just wanted to make sure what was what. Okay. So we're going to do our output right here. Now let's go right straight up until we can't get any further. So let's get which of this is. Oh, uh oh. That's not good. Where's this? Oh, this is over here in this corner. You know what? Okay. Well, that's. No, we can't do that. I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. This is actually not going right here. Okay. So let me get that. There we go. Okay, so that's not going to be a good place to put that. Uh, wait, what's what direction was that? Okay, so we have to go over one. Okay. okay. Right? Over one. Okay, well, that puts that there. Okay, well, yeah, we could do that. That's a lot better. Over one, right? Okay, so let's do that. There. Okay, we'll move this guy over one. And we'll just go like this and pick it up. Three. There we go. And we'll put this back down. There we go. Right here. Okay. Right here. And there. Now we can get this piece of right here and put that back. Okay, so let's go up here, folks. There we go. Let's find out where this is going to go. I have no clue either. Oh, right there. Okay. Ow. Ow. All right. So I want it to go straight up. What we need to do is we need to go back inside and grab a couple of stacks of cobble. All right. Let's get this. All right. Cobble, 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 cobble. See? Okay. Let's grab one, two, three, four. Oh, we can put this stuff up. We can put this stuff up. There we go. And we put that one up. All right. Three, four. There. That should be enough. All right. Let's get in here. There we go. Hey, this is going to be fun. All right. So our power cable is going to come down straight in. Let's get up here. Let's figure out where we're going to put this. All right. Now, Please don't get upset because this is just going to be temporary stuff. We're going to be temporarily making all the way. We're going to do this cobble. This is just going to help us get to where we're going. There we go. Now, come on. Let's get up. Goodness, let's go. Come on. We're trying to get to a height that wind is going to work at. And wind generators... Uh, if you've got them windmills and etc the higher you put them the there's that that common thing you always hear the higher you put them the better you're gonna be no wind generators work the best between about 150 or and 170 all right uh, and that's a pretty good so we're going to go to the max height of 170 and that's how where we're gonna uh, put all of our stuff so 66 68. 69 170 all right we are standing on the block that everything needs to be on okay let's what way we're, we're gonna put everything facing this way so what I'm gonna do is we are going okay so the wire is gonna come up here right okay wire is gonna come up here on this side along this so I'll temporarily put that right there and I'll put this here Okay, that'll be one machine. Okay, so two. All right. Wait, and just so I can get out here in front of it, 
Okay, so first machine is going to be the gen kinetic generator. So let's grab one of those and we'll grab one of these. Okay, so all right, kinetic. Wait, how did I do that? Wire. Yes, wire. Generator. Okay, right here. Okay, which one I got? I got a kinetic generator. There. Okay, and on the front of it, I put the kinetic wind generator. Now, on this one, this one, I put a rotor. Now, right here, I take off that. Now, it is producing power. And it's producing it pretty fast. All right. Now, I'm going to connect this one up here to uh, the wire. All right. So, I could fall down. Whee! Press a button, press a button. There we go. All right, let's hook this up. Okay, so if we're what I'm going to do, folks, is we're going to hook this one up. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's get up here. Come on. Come on. This is what I get for flying. Right, right. This is what I get, right, folks? Okay, let's just put you there, so all of those. There, we'll just fall. Oh, gosh, dang it. There we go, come on. Just let me get one on camera, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to get one on camera. We can do this. <laughs> there we go, come on, come on. There we go. Holy crap. I might get one on camera. Jeez. Oh, you P.O.S. Piece of mushroom. That's right. This is what this is. You know what? It would be really nice if I didn't have my jetpack on. Oh, my. What the? Oh, that didn't help. All right. I don't know my shortcut key to turn off the, the jetpack. Get up here. Yeah, you go go ahead and laugh. This is fun. <laughs> I actually am having a time of my life doing this. Okay, we're already at 119. There's our generator. There we go. Now, once I get this up here. Oh, come on. There we go. I think we're getting a hang of it now. There we go. Come on. I say that just as I start messing up again. Oh, I thought we were there. Oh, we were trapped inside of it for a second. And it starts raining. Yay. <laughs> but don't worry, folks. AJ, his rain machine makes it stop raining. Well, his weather machine makes it stop raining. Excuse me. So we just got that benefit. There we go. Now we've got it figured out. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're working that button just right. And you're probably going, oh, my God. The You can hear it. Oh, oh, oh. We're right here. Okay, let's get up here. We're going to connect this. Here it goes. Yay! Yes. And it's pulling the power out. Okay. You know what really stings, though? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need first thing before I start doing anything off camera to get all of this ready okay we're gonna put that one right there and that one right there all right so I'm going to get all of these set up I'm gonna put all five of them out but first we're gonna go down wait what's the power I didn't even check the power 499 KU <sighs> Wow! All right, folks, uh, we're going to do a jump cut right here, and I'll be right back. No, no, wait a second. Let's 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 go downstairs real quick. Ah! Okay, wait, I forgot I got a jetpack. We could just do this the wrong way. There we go. Let's get in here. Oh. Let's go back to this room. Oh, my goodness, going all the way downstairs. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Actually, you know what? 
there we go. Actually, folks, I think we've done their job for the day. Next time, on the beginning of next episode, we will have all five rotors put in, and then we'll go on to the next part of this program of next episode, where we will build some new items. <laughs> all right, folks, y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming in, and if you like this video, please rem remember to hit the like, bu like button, comment uh, down below, add this video to your favorites list, and please remember to share with the hashtag of Minecraft. And you're all probably going, oh my god, you tipped this out. No, I uh, cliffhanger. <laughs> Look at that really go pretty fast. All right, bye, everybody. My name is Mr. Red. Once again, if you're brand new, hit that like button and subscribe. And welcome to the Mr. Red family. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>